Now, before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way you can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way. With these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24-7 customer support. Don't miss KeysFan Mega Discount. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for Windows Series with RTG 50 and 62% discount for Microsoft Office and Bundle with RTG 62. Don't forget to check the descriptions for details. Hello and welcome back to RGB Tech. Here today in this video, I'll be showing you the best settings for Horizon Windows Emulator for Android. In our last video, we already set up this emulator and tried out some games like GTA 5. But still, if you want to achieve more performance, I will show you the best settings possible to achieve more FPS. So let's get started. Simply open Horizon Emulator. And remember, this one currently works for Snapdragon. There is no official support for MediaTek Mali GPUs. Here, make sure you need to update all these driver script files. Also, if you scroll down, you need to update to latest Wine version. Wine patches as well. Once everything is updated, it refreshes the emulator. So now go to settings section. Go to X11 settings. Choose display resolution mode to exact. Select resolution. Always prefer lower for better performance. For flagship Snapdragon, you can level up to 720p resolution. For low end device, prefer lowest resolution possible like 800 by 600 or even lower. Enable stretch to fit display. Leave other settings as usual. Now get back, go to environment settings. Here at first, everything is set to default preset. Simply select add new preset. Give it a name, confirm. Now we will get a lot of options. In display mode, make sure to turn off real variable name option. Enable box 64 Dynarec settings. This is very important in order to work things. Set big block to two. If you choose to build block bigger, it is the fastest option. Turn off use double for x87 emulation. Scroll down, enable don't emulate none. Enable don't use precise rounding. Also make sure both these options set to value zero. In wine variables, make sure to enable this option to boost performance. Enable mango hood. To see your device performance, FPS, CPU, GPU, and so on things. Set font size based on you want to display. Set position. Anyways, don't use DXVK HUD. As we already enable Mango HUD, it gives more detailed HUD data. Okay now, enable Gallium Overlay option. And this one, make sure to keep Mesa Shader Cache enabled. Now Shader Cache will depend upon the setting. If you are using low-end Snapdragon, set at most of 1GB cache memory. If high-end set to 4 gigs. This option basically helps you to store game shaders cache to load game faster. Reduces stutters. Disable turnip sync draw. Don't enable this option DR13 unless you are using Snapdragon 845 or above. And scroll down, you don't need to change these settings. And guys, these are the main important settings to configure. Anyways, now head over to containers options. Choose the preset just you created. Set box 64 driver date. Takes VK driver. Turn up to latest version. Choose all these settings. Tap on OK. Now start the container. Here we go. Horizon is successfully booted. Now go to start. Go to app section, wine configuration. Choose Windows from 7 to 11. If you are using older version titles, then prefer Windows 7. Leave the remaining settings as default. Now let's test some games. As you guys can see, the performance got improved in FPS, as I set to this HD resolution. Running on DirectX 11, Hands behind your back! Oh, come on, Nestor, we're giving you everything you want! I don't even think about it! Oh, oh. I'll do it, I'll do it! Oh, God. Get in there! Sit tight! And this one is most intensive title. Based on DirectX 12, uses Unreal Engine 4 graphics engine. Before, we used to achieve like only 14 to 15 FPS at most. But this time more at 20s and 24s even on 768p resolution. That's insane, actually. So that's it for today's video guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more. Thank you guys.